I don't know how much you know about heart attacks uh, in terms of what creates them. But a heart attack, you have to have a blood clot in order for that to happen. And that blood clot happens, but what's going on in the background, in the artery, that takes at least a week or two for a crack in the artery to occur. So do you remember Tim Russert? June 2008, he died suddenly in Washington, D.C. at the NBC studio. He was my favorite journalist uh, on television. Um, and what happened, this tragedy, is, somewhat, is so uh, emblematic of what happens to people who have a heart attack. He had a stress test just a few weeks before that was perfectly normal. A stress test only tells us if there's a tight narrowing. It doesn't tell us if there's a crack that's going to start. That can happen anywhere, and it typically occurs where there's only minor cholesterol buildup. So a stress test is unhelpful. An angiogram is unhelpful. But now, we recently published our work at Scripps, where we could pick up the cells that were being shed from the cracking artery that's in progress before the blood clot. Pick up those cells. Now, we've now sequenced the cells and studied the genomics of these cells, and we've developed a signature which could be used as a blood test to see whether there's a crack developing, but what we want it ultimately to be used for is to have a nano sensor, a chip, put into the bloodstream, smaller than a, a, a grain of sand size, and that chip will pick up the DNA signature of cells that are sloughing off the artery, and it will talk to your smartphone, and it will give you a ringtone of heart attack, okay? <laughs> Now, I know you think this is science fiction and crazy, but in fact, it's eminently doable. And we're working actually with engineers at Caltech to, to actually actualize this opportunity. The same thing can be done for cancer, uh, for the first cell that ever shows up in the bloodstream of cancer. That would be the earliest detection that one could ever uh, um, imagine. And other ways, like for example, autoimmune diseases like diabetes, type 1 diabetes, which takes five years for it to occur. Uh, so it's a really exciting time to combine genomics and, um, and uh, the whole idea of wireless.